Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you the problem that we're currently dealing with, which is a crash in Blender, a workaround, a patch we're submitting to Blender that fixes it, and I know that it does because I've just compiled it and tested it myself, and also a little bit about the code if you're interested at the very end. So stick around at the very end if you actually want to yeah, learn something about the bug that we're facing, I guess. Some of you may wish to look at that, some of you might not. Anyway, let me just get straight into it, because I know you probably want me just to stop rabbiting on and actually talk about the issue and how to solve it. So first I'm going to demonstrate the issue. So we're dealing with Blender 3.1 Alpha, which is a very exciting um, release because you can use CUDA and Optics devices with Cycles X now. Problem is though, there's a crash. So I'm going to show you the crash first so you know what to look for and to avoid. So first of all, I'm going to start up Blender 3.1. So this was downloaded just a couple of days ago. And I started testing it and noticed this crash. So the rendering, sorry, a little bit nervous for some reason, not sure why. Just trying to get over that. So sorry about that. I'm just setting up to do a render with CrowdRender. Now normally you'd have another machine set up to connect to, but I'll show you in a sec why that's not necessary to reproduce the crash. So if you have just two computers with CrowdRender, you'd probably want to use both of them. And you'd be using the one that you're controlling, which we call the client or the master. That's where you'd open Blender, you'd open your Blend file, and then you'd connect to other nodes. And you can use this computer to render on as well. Um, if this little camera icon is like this, and this isn't grayed out, then that machine's actually going to render. If it's like this, then the local machine, which we call it, or the client or the master, sorry, it's got so many names, it won't render. So in that configuration, the one that you can see on the screen, it's not going to render. And this is the problem. When this is enabled to render, if I just go and press F12 now, Blender crashes. So that's the issue. If you were to connect to like, say, two or three of the machines and not enable the local, it's fine. So I'll show you that now. I'll just clean up and show you that. Just to prove it works, because you know it's good to prove that things work. So I'm using 0.4.2, by the way, which is new software we've just released, because there were other bugs that we had to fix where we couldn't use our add-on with Cycles X in Blender 3.0. But this one is actually in Blender, which I'll get to. I'll get to the reason behind it. So if we start this all up again, select this, select the, <laughs> I was going to say select the Cycles engine, select Crowd Render. If I don't select the local machine for rendering and press F12, Okay, nothing happens because I don't have another machine able to render, but you'll notice it didn't crash. So the workaround, you can actually get the local machine to render, which I will demonstrate real quick. So I'm going to add a new node and I'm going to call it Ryzen Ninja, which is the computer name that I gave to this computer when I set it up. And I can actually connect to that node and it works. Well, once I've done a, a resync. Okay, now we should be able to render. There you go. So you can actually, this is actually rendering on this machine, it's just I did it a different way. And we've had this kind of like as a testing tool where you can connect to another node, but it's actually a simulated node on the master or local machine, and it will actually do rendering. There is a downside, however, which is increased RAM usage because you're opening another copy of the blend file in background, and then that's rendering. So because of that, there's a little bit more RAM usage than normal. There's one extra process with your scene loaded that doesn't need to be there, but because of this crash, it kind of blows the normal method out of the water. Okay, so that's the workaround. Now I'm gonna show you just to prove that it works. Okay, so I've been working on my own build of Blender and I've made some changes, which I will go over. So this is the code and I'll talk a little bit more about it in a second, um, but I'm gonna fire that one up now. I'm just gonna make sure this one's fully closed and there are no more Blender processes before I open the second one. That's kind of a, a must do thing if you're opening and closing Blender a lot. So this is Blender 3 Alpha, essentially this, is pretty close to master, and it had the same code changes from September 
which are associated with all the work and build up to Blender 3.0 that crashed everything. And this build did crash stuff until I made these changes. So now, if I go and select Crowd Render, I go and hit Render, it doesn't crash anymore. Now it doesn't render because I made some other changes which also stop rendering, but the crash is gone. And I'll talk about why the crash is gone now, just in case you're interested. So let's dive into the code. So this build, the hope is we are actually going to be able to submit a patch for this. So I'll show you that. Um, actually, no, I will leave a link in the description below. Sorry, I'm just so out of it today. I'll leave a link in the description below to the issue that we've got on developer.blender.org. Um, so you can take a look at it if you're interested and also maybe awarded a token or something if you feel generous because that might help raise its priority level a little bit. Um, yeah, <laughs> which I don't know if that helps, but maybe it will. So here's what actually went on. So Blender recently had this change. So if I go to, so when you save a file, it comes in here and does this thing. Now you might be thinking, well, what's saving a file got to do with rendering? Well, when you want to use the local machine, we save a copy of your blend file and use that to be read into a background process to do a background render. And that's how rendering happens in CrowdRender on your local machine. We do that because it's just safer that way. We have a copy of the blend file that only one process has access to. Nothing else is going to try and write to it. And it's a copy or a snapshot taken the moment that you hit the render button as well. So it's going to have all your changes in it. Now we only save that file if you've got the local enabled, which is why you can get around the crash if you disable the local machine from rendering. And Blender made a change to its code to save files, so they added something which I've removed. So they actually added, we can expand this little um, thing, whatever you call that in VS Code. So this is the line that I removed, and you can see it says if we're not in background mode, we're going to redraw all windows. And that is the line that causes the crash. This was introduced in September. Basically, I have moved it um, to be not in the piece of code that writes your blend file to disk, because it can actually go somewhere else. So that's the basically that's basically the essence of the patch, is not taking that out, but just moving it to somewhere else. And that's the code that I have showed you working where you can still save files and you can still render in CrowdRender and there's no crash. So it looks good. Obviously, it's got a pass muster with the devs. And that's pretty much, I guess, a rundown of the workaround, the bug, and what to expect when you get 042. Yes, there is an issue with it, but the issue is mostly with Blender because of you know, the change you can see on the screen. I'm going to picture and picture this, so it's going to be weird. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be pointing. So sorry. Sorry for the incoherence as well. Um, I have no idea why. It's a lovely sunny day here in Sydney, and for some reason my brain is just fried, and I'm not sure why. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Hopefully this has been helpful. If it has, I would love, you know, like, share, subscribe. Also, a big shout out to M-Wave Australia because they've survived. They've survived? Oh man, this is not going well. They have supplied all the kit which makes this kind of development possible. Compiling this on a 3950X, ah, chef's kiss, so good. I can actually test Blender the same day I make changes when I'm using this piece of kit. So um, I'm gonna have a, a link to their store in the description below, just because this, you know, this equipment makes development with Blender possible for me at the moment. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, See you in the next video, guys. Thanks. Cheers. Bye.